Okay, hi everyone. So, um, as you can see from the video, this is a, a video I'm going to show you how I make bright lipstick work for my skin tone. So it's mainly for women of color um, and for women of chocolate skin. So on the um, further end of the spectrum. Of course, um, if you're not chocolate skin, you can definitely use these tips. So maybe uh, lip lines that are not as dark, but um, it's really the main. It's the it's a formula that anyone could use. So um, basically, what I'm trying to uh, pass across is that you can use any colours, you could use all the colours of the rainbow as long as you have a lip liner that will create a transi transition from um, your skin tone, from the skin to your lips. You don't want the lipstick to just be on your lips and then do this and be like just really harsh. You want it to be a harmonious transition between the colour of your skin and the lips. So I'm, I'm, I'm going to use four different lips, lip liners in this video, <coughs> three of them are by MAC and one is from, one is from MUA, uh, you can get that from Superdrug and it's only a pound, so it's really losing the cheese there. So I'll show you the one from MUA first, it's um, this red lip liner called Brooding Plum and it's a um, plummy red like it says on the really the description and what it says on the tin it's a darkish red the next one is chestnut by MUA, um, MAC it's a brown with like a slight slightly red undertone and you can see that here this one here then the next one is magenta which is a fuchsia with blue undertones and you can see that here on my hand then last but not least is night moth which is a purplish brown um, lip liner it's very pigmented it's one of my favorite lip liners i use it for almost everything and i also like it like to use it on my own to create a plum lip so um, i'm gonna start off uh, with what I have on my lips right now, which is really, really wool, um, which looks like this, and really, really on its own on my skin, I feel like it's a bit too bright. And there's no transition, so I like to use um, the red, the red lip liner as a um, as a filler. So I, I, I fill my lips in with the red and then apply the lipstick and then put a little bit of chestnut on top of it on in the corner in the just as a lip liner very on at the edge of my lips i'm just going to take it off and show you how i do that okay so i've taken off the lipstick and just a reminder that when you put in uh, lipstick on always exfoliate first so that your lips are smooth and there's no um, dead skin like your lips are not dry that will um, ensure that the, the lipstick application is smooth and that your lips your lipstick will last longer and then also um, prep your lips with a lip balm like Carmex or bit Vaseline I like to use Carmex I'm going to use the red uh, lip liner to fill my lips you can um, create a cupid's bow with lip lines if you haven't got one. Or enhance yours. And make sure that you go filling to the corner because you don't want a gap. So you apply the lip, uh, put the lip liner through your lips, then take your lipstick and apply it. So you can definitely definitely wear it like this on its own. But if you if you want more of a transition, then apply just now without any brown lipstick. 
this. I'm putting a little bit of chestnut on the very end of my lips. It doesn't matter if you go over your lips, you can always clean it up with a concealer. And then to blend it in, I've, I've, I did this, like I've called it press and roll method. So you press your lips together and then roll them inside. Just make sure that the color blends and then runs into the lip. Like so. So yeah, this is how I will review. So yeah, so it's time to take it off and then I'll show you the next So um, the next lipstick, it's a lipstick by Max Factor and it's a coral colour which looks like this It's like a pinky coral and it's called Bewitching Coral 827 The way I wear this one is with um, that red uh, lip liner that I used earlier just um, as a liner just so Concentrating it at the ends of my lips and on the edge, blending it and then applying this so that it transitions from red to the coral pink. Of course, if you like it bright, you can use it on its own, but um, I feel like it's too bright on its own for my lips, so I need to mute it down a little bit. So the next um, lipstick is Mickey 2, part of the Viva Glam collection. So there's a Mickey Minaj lipstick. And it's a fire. It's very pale. I'll switch on my finger. It's very pale on my skin. Couldn't, I could never wear this on its own because I don't have a witch. So uh, I definitely need a lip liner for this. The way I, wear it in two, I can wear it in two ways. So the way I'm going to show you is with um, magenta as a lip liner and filler. But not filling the, my whole lips. The article on this, the bottom, leaving a little bit in the middle, and also the cute. You could also um, use it with um, night mode. Okay, so uh, magenta as the lip. So as you can see behind me in there, this is what I like. Why don't you blend it? And then mix it a little bit. You can still see the lilac. It's not as harsh. So this is how I wear This is how I wear the um, Mickey 2. 
I've made him a fuchsia ish You can feel like it's still too bright and it's going to look more of the look, you know? So I'm 